Hey guys, it's Gigi, and today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Let me just say, I've recorded this intro two times, and both times were, it was not recording. Don't ask me how I did it two times in a row. <sighs> Anyways, I know fall is coming up, and everybody's doing these bronze makeup tutorials, but you know what? I was, I was feeling a makeup tutorial, but I was like, I don't really want to do a bronze or, you know, like an autumn theme, like orange and reds and yellows, whatever. Well, there is yellow in this look, but I feel like I've already done those, and I'm to be honest, I'm not even really feeling fall. I kind of want summer to, like extend a little bit. There's pinks and there's purples and there's a little splash of yellow. I've actually been so obsessed. Randomly one day I put yellow in my tear duct area. I think it's a nice flare, a nice change for me because usually I just do like a cream or a white color in my um, tear duct so it's nice to have a little bit of a change and I think it's very flattering. I think that these colors work really really nicely with blue eyes. Yellow does look really good with blue but I think that it also looks really good with green and hazel so definitely try it out. But announcement time. I'm so excited. I can finally announce I'm going to be having another meet and greet in Toronto. I know a lot of you guys, well, I've already had like two. I've had like, my first one was like two years ago, I think. I had a pool party. And then my second one, I had a Young and Dundas Square, which just got buck wild. So I'm so excited for this time around. It's going to be at Yorkdale Mall on October 5th. And I'm really excited about that location because it's very accessible. And it's a mall I shop at like literally all the time. It's like one of those malls that has every single store and we're gonna be having it at the jean machine location and actually we're gonna be doing a little contest so click the link in the description box to see how you enter and all that stuff basically you get to win a pair of free jeans which is like amazing obviously you get to come for a meet and greet and then walk away with a free pair of jeans obsessed and seriously like when fall gets here and winter gets here I love jeans. I love jeans and I love jeggings. I know it's like such a trashy word, but I love it. I think it looks so pretty with like riding boots and stuff. But anyways, that was my announcement. Can't wait to see all of you guys October 5th at Yorkdale Mall. And I'm so pumped and I literally go on vacation and then get back and I have my meet and greet, which is so, so, so exciting. So I definitely can't wait to see all of you guys there. On with the tutorial. If you'd like to see how I got this look that I'm wearing right now, definitely stay tuned. One eye all done and pretty and the other one all bare and nasty. <laughs> so here is my favorite eyeshadow primer. It's Too Faced Shadow Insurance, obviously, and you need literally nothing of this product, just a little quarter pea size amount. Spread that out and make sure to put some on the bottom of your eyelids as well because we will be putting some eyeshadow there and we want it to be vibrant. So the palette we're gonna be using today is the BH Cosmetics Eyes on the 60s palette. And you guys know I am never scared of a little bit of color, but this palette also has some really nice neutral shades uh, for your casual days and days where you're not feeling all outrageous and crazy, which is literally like never for me. But we're gonna be using the colors basically in this region and obviously some nudes. The first color is this kind of bone beige color. It's not the whitest white in the palette. And we're gonna be sweeping that under our brow and just putting that on the inner third of our eyelid and kind of just brightening up our eye before we add that pop of color. The next shade we're gonna be putting on is this hot pink color, probably the brightest in the palette. We're just going for the jugular right now. And we're just using this on a dome shaped brush and just sweep that in your crease. Just use it really, really lightly just to make sure that you're not being sloppy with it. You wanna really create a nice gradient with this um, and just sweep it in your crease and create that nice V on the outside as I'm doing now and just take your time to blend that um, until you're happy with it and just make sure that it looks pretty because this is ba the base for the entire eyeshadow look. So have something that looks like this and then we're going to be moving on to this kind of salmon color, not the baby pink but the one beside it and just sweeping that all over our lids, kind of blending in the hot fuchsia pink to just dye it down a little bit. Next color we're going to be using a glitter purple with a little flat shader brush like this and the goal you want to achieve with this eyeshadow look is creating a flawless and seamless gradient with the purple and the pink and I think using a glitter eyeshadow helps more than using a matte eyeshadow I just think it's easier to blend as you see I'm kind of just taking my time in blending this and I'm going back with the same dome brush that I use the pink with just to make sure that it's all blended out and nice and stop when it's all even and pretty and you have something that looks like this now time for my favorite part the inner tear duct I'm using this bright yellow color which I think is so fun and so complimentary with the purple I'm just stippling that on just to get the highest pigmentation the colors in this palette are very highly pigmented anyways and now to blend it out I was using the purple glitter color as you see here now I'm gonna be using the matte color I think that it works a lot better on the lower lid and it's also kind of just my preference you kind of have to switch up eyeshadow looks to suit you and I think it just gives a more smoky effect which is what I like and you'll have something that looks like this 
Now time for liner. Obviously, I am using my Stila liquid liner. Love, 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 love this product. You guys know it's been in my monthly favorites. And now time for lashes. We are using the Ardell Natural Wispies. And I think that Wispies make any eyeshadow look look so amazing and so perfected and so gorgeous. And you definitely need to get some Wispy eyelashes. If you have not tried, they will change your life. A little bit of mascara on the top and bottom to blend everything. Make sure your eyelashes are looking right. And we're going to be using the BH blush that actually kind of has the same feel as the palette. I love this duo. It's like a beautiful blush color and then a gorgeous glitter. You guys know I'm a sucker for cheek highlight and this stuff literally makes you look like a porcelain doll. Well, like the glitter version of a porcelain doll. I'm obsessed. And then I chose to do a pink lip with this look. It might be a little bit too much for everybody every day. I know, I know. Nude would go really well with this look as well, but it is me, not you. So I decided to do Love Lauren by MAC. It's so pretty. I think that it works so well with this. I'm completely in love with this look. Finishing it off with a little bit of white eyeliner. This is Fascinating Eye Cold by MAC just to brighten up the look. And we are done. Rock this like it's the last makeup look you'll ever wear. I really hope you guys like that look um, and definitely try it out. Send me pictures on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I would really, really like that. But until I see you guys next time or at my meetup on October 5th at Yorkdale Mall, stay gorgeous.